into this match here. And we got Sir Spud playing Gengar and Sorry Tag bringing out Krogunk, the newest addition to his arsenal. All right, so he's seeming to be pretty confident here. Could be banking on some matchup knowledge that Sir Spud might not have, but it's very unlikely that Sir Tag has matchup knowledge against Gengar with Krogunk. And we haven't seen his Krogunk as much as his other mates. This, is gonna be, this could be a very risky choice, but let's see if it works out for him. Ooh, okay, just a little bit missed time forward. Why right there? He's gonna take a grab there. All right. Ah, yep, nice use of curse to avoid that counter. This is an amazing move to just get out of the situation. Amazing use of Ivern is gonna lead to a combo. Ooh, nice drop at the last second there. Nice use of just playing it safe right now. Ooh, gets hit by the poison jab, takes the defense debuff, and gets hit by the meaty Venom Shock. Both players just staying a little bit away right here. And there we go, Sartag getting some nice damage in with the Poison Sting. The defense debuff adding even more to that situation. So Spud is not able to get much off of these pokes in right here. Sartag just doing a very amazing job of keeping Sir Spud away. Doing a very nice um, stay away game, which is really, really hurting Sir Spud. Ooh, but now Sir Spud does have the double buff. It's a risky run with Gengar that sometimes you give your opponent just a lot of benefits for... He has to make sure he can avoid that nice grab right there. Predicting the back dash there. Oh, nothing from Accupressure. Just a speed debuff. Not, not looking good for Sorry Tiger to look right now. And the meaty uh, release X to Scooby snagging that first game right there. Sorry Tiger does have a full synergy gauge going into the next match. But then again, so does Sir Spud. And of course, Mega Gengar most likely outclasses Krogan's first. However, Krogan does um, have theoretically better RNG when he is in burst, so he gets better results off of his things like Gunk Shot and stuff like that. A uh, nice use of the Shadow Punch to get him off of the wall like that. Right, here comes Frog Deer, open up the situations. Oh, Sir Spud doing some nice uh, backing up right there. When Gengar goes into his low stance and he can move back and forth, when he moves back, I believe that's the fastest a character can move back into the game. Could be wrong about that, but I am. Ooh, so many hits on that, he can bring him to the wall right there. There's mine. Right, so Spud's looking for an opportunity, but Sorry Tech's keeping himself in the air, but ooh! Ah, not even a combo off of it. And there's a ooh, max range hypnosis. Does phase change, however. Alright, here comes burst from Sorry Tag. Popping the frog here as well. We're trying to find a situation. Oh, does not connect right there. With a nice ending to it. That was weird. The tornado went the other way. How about it? Alright, so Spud just throwing out some projectiles, trying to bail out options. Is this a punish? Oh, not quite! Okay, so there actually is um, a small amount of time after Krogan's burst where he is considered airborne. Um, so that actually let him avoid the burst. Oh, Sir Spud just barely letting go and getting hit by the mine. Alright, so a little bit more damage. Star Attack is not in a good situation right now, especially considering time. Let's get a little bit more damage in if he wants to be able to do this. A curse. Oh, this could be a bit too much for- Yep, I don't think so. I can do this. Yeah, and there's the timeout. Yep, Sir Spud got the timeout right there. Had a nice health lead. Decided to take it. He's going to be taking that first game here. Let's see. I wonder if we're going to get a character change from Sorry Tag. I mean, the Krogan was working pretty okay, but he's probably a bit more confident in his other character choices. Let's see if he sticks to it, or he's going to be switching back. And we're getting a character change. All right. Um, now the prediction is either Shandor or Yutu. Shandor um, infamously does not have a very good matchup against Gengar. So, yep, there's some Mewtwo, as to be expected. Alright, now, now, now Sorry Tag is playing. He's in this now. <laughs> Alright, so, anyways. Alright, so, it looks like Sorcerer's actually running Eevee. That's gonna help him get a little bit of HP, which can be very, um, vital for, for a character like Gengar, but very little HP. Also gives an attack buff, which also fixes the problem of his damage output. Alright, nice use of the low stance getting under that Psycho Cut. Classic trick. And the 8x connecting for a full combo. Let's see how he's gonna end it. And oh, just barely misses the ending right there. But it's okay, gets a reset situation and gets it. Alright. There's the neutral Y. It's a very, very um difficult um projectile to avoid because it always homes in and also is completely invincible to other like projectiles. It just phases straight through them. Alright, nice use of the low stance. Uh, Sorry Tech really not getting anything off those Psycho Cups. And there's a crit grab right there, taking away any kind of synergy that Sorry Tech had and boosting up Sir Spuds. Still sitting on Eevee in the back in case he needs it. 
Ooh, and there's some nice damage. Charge is a little bit more, so a little bit more damage. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, Tiger's getting a little bit of damage in right now. Canceling the Hyper Beam. Ooh, very scary interactions right now. And goes into Curse. Okay. Oh, this is a scary situation for Sorry Tag. Gets the Fire Punch. Is that it? Oh, not enough. So we're splitting it. Sorry Tag. Good situation. Oh, but there's Eevee gonna get um so there's about the health lead and the JY they're snagging it. Nice uh that was a nice attempt by um sorry tag try and get that last hit, but her spot able to avoid it and take that last game. And now he's looking at a full synergy gauge. Sorry tag might be has to be a little bit cautious, has to be a little bit wary of that mega Gengar in the back. Uh keeps canceling the hyper beam. Probably for the best. Um, Search Blood, if anyone would be able to avoid that very, very well, using his eye frames. Ooh, able to beat out the Drain Punch right there, getting to nice damage with the Hex. Not Hex, Curse. And there's more damage coming against the wall. Oh, nice use of Adex because it's in the air, actually avoids Mewtwo's counter. Ooh, keeps dropping the Scooby right there. And here comes Mega Gengar, resetting phase shift points. Right, just needs a, really, a few more hits and he able to beat this out. Oh, just not able to get the full damage here. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, so Mewtwo is in the air, so he avoids the 2x. All right. Man, Surge Blood is not able to get his last hit in here. Uh, Star Attack is doing an amazing job just avoiting all of uh, Mega Gengar's stuff. And he's actually able to work with Big Work. Oh, Rotom actually connecting there. Getting into a combo. Oh man, looking at the clock though, and Sir Spud's health. It's gonna be a bit difficult for Star Attack to do this, and there we go. Sir Spud snagging that game right there, going 2 0 over Star Attack, getting a spot into winner's semis. Alright, but that was.